everybody, hello or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ruth M. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and amazing week so far. Yes, I know um, I have a headband because my hair wanted to do weird things. So to contain it and not looking so crazy, like I got electrocuted, I had to put it in a headband. So yeah, I hope you guys um, are being safe and being healthy. Okay, so a lot has happened. Um, from the last time from when I filmed my giveaway video a lot has happened uh, we ended up moving we found a bigger place for us to live so we ended up moving there so with moving it, that's why my walls are like a grayish blue I don't know what color they are but I mean I kind of like gray they're kind of matching this way <laughs> but yeah so we had to move um, into this place so that kind of took up a lot of time we were supposed to get our wi-fi on friday spectrum did like an overnight like shipment for the equipment and fedex decided not to deliver so i had to drive to the next town over where they had spectrum to get my router and everything and by the time like it was like at one o'clock in the morning when everything was all set up so i was like yeah there's no way i'm gonna be able to do video and all that i had half my stuff wasn't even set up either so it was a very time crunch time move so that's why I wasn't here so F -O FYI that's why I was gone I have a good excuse <laughs> and yeah things at the job just didn't get better but that's that can wait a whole different like story for that discussion because there's just so much going on with that but anyway, so in today's video, we are going to be doing another zodiac sign. Yes, we are going to be doing the Aquarius. Yes, it's Aquarius season. And their color is purple, so that's why I chose the theme. Don't forget, uh, on Wednesday is the giveaway at 10 p.m. Mountain Time. I will link down the time zones down below so you guys know when to look out. But fair warning, um, I am also going to be posting another video on wednesday it's gonna be requesting me to do like an ice eating video for like the sounds and stuff asmr so if you see that and you're like girl what what are you doing that's what that is just letting you know and for saturday's video i plan on doing a valentine's day look um someone did request that i do like the whole foundation like video with how i do like the whole face so in the valentine's day when i do an eyeshadow look i will also be including my eyebrows my foundation everything so you guys can kind of see what i do let's get to it all right so i got my eyebrows on and my eye base on yes so let me move a couple things over to start off with this look we are mostly going to be using the blood lust palette which is right here by jeffree star and we might dip into pink religion since the birthstone is purple i mostly want to dip into this palette since this is one of the palettes i barely use so let's open her up and i think with the first shade i want to use it's going to be blood queen right here and we're going to put it on the very top right up there so let me grab a fluffy brush just like this and we're going to dip into blood queen and we're just going to start right up here and kind of start creating our shape and i think i kind of want to do like a circular end with this one so yeah i'm gonna grab kind of like a smaller brush just so i can get more in here there we go it's so crazy to think that january is almost over and also very crazy that like i never really like use this palette which is so weird but it does have some pretty shades so i think later on when i do my face i'm gonna add some highlight up here so don't want to get too carried away 
And I'm gonna go ahead and add it on the same side. For the eye primer, I am using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Eye Primer Potion that I used in the last video. I really like it. It kind of enhances the makeup a little bit more uh, than my NYX eye primer. I do like that one, but I was like, you know what? For this one, let's go with the more expensive little, you know, just to give it a tit more pigment to help with the pigment and all that because sometimes with purples um eye primer is definitely key so i'm just laying it down making sure it's all nice and dark so i'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's all even and then i'm gonna grab that fluffy brush that i tried to go in with and just kind of smooth everything out definitely the edges to kind of help the process go a little bit faster. Well, there's that. I know it looks weird. <laughs> I know, but it's all being done. The next shade I'm going to go into is going to be Dungeon, which is kind of like a blackish purple. It's right here. So we're just going to grab a little fluffy brush just like this and dip into it and i kind of want to start because i am going to do a cut crease so i kind of want to start right here with it and kind of start moving up so then that way if i have to like remove some stuff for my cut crease it's not going to be like taking too much of the product away so and start laying it down and then we're gonna start blending it into the purple shade I was gonna use a black but I think using a more just of a purplish black would make make it help a little bit more I don't know why I just did that oh And when doing this part, I am doing it very carefully, just so product doesn't end up going really much anywhere. We're gonna go onto the other side. I don't know what it is, but it, I don't know, maybe it's just because it is like a new place. It kind of feels weird to do my, I don't know why I'm whispering. I don't know why, but it just kind of feels weird because I'm just so used to my old station I had and like, you know, the white walls and everything. So I think with it be, this being like my first video here, like it just feels so weird because I'm still getting used to it. Like we started moving, we got the keys to the place on eight, the 18, so about last Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't remember my days. It's just been a really crazy, crazy week, that's for sure. But yeah, if I do seem kind of off, that's why, because <laughs> it just feels so weird. Okay, so just making sure we're getting right in there. and take my little brush I used for the Blood Queen. I'm just going to go right where Dungeon ends and so I'm just going to use it where Dungeon ends just to kind of help blend it a little bit since I do have some product left on this brush. Maybe just dip a little bit into the blood queen to kind of help with the product. Dip, grab the palette I'm gonna dip into, I believe it is Mon Archie, which is right here, kind of like a beige looking color. And I'm just gonna grab 
And just a little fluffy brush just like this. And I'm going to dip into it very lightly. And I kind of want to kind of simmer down this a little bit. So, um, so I kind of do want to calm, calm it down a little bit. So I'm going to take that beige shade and try to, um, get the blood queen a little bit more died down up here. I thought I kind of wanted that really bold look, but I kind of want it to be a little bit more relaxed. So I am going to add a little bit beige up here, not too much. All right, so I kind of fixed the crease and I put some more eye primer down. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up the palette. And for the shimmer look, I'm going to dip into Pink Magic, which is right here. It's like a purple shimmer. Yes. And I'm going to just take my brush, which is kind of like a little oval shape. That's flat. And we are going to start laying her down. I think I'm going to start with like padding motions. And then once I really get the product on there, I'll start doing like the swiping. And I think with the shimmer, I'm going to go about halfway in with it. And I'm just going to really, really pack it on. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a little round brush just like this. And I'm going to dip into High King, which is right here. And I'm going to put it have that shade connect to this shade and then I'm going to go back in with Purple Queen and then uh, Dungeon. But just to kind of, it's going to help kind of transfer the shimmer into the Blood Queen and the Dungeon a little bit. A little bit to help. Go back with our Blood Queen brush and we're going to start adding the Blood Queen to this and going to tap it over the High King. Do it all. Other side. Brush that we dipped into dungeon, gonna go in dungeon and then kind of create that edgy blackish purple right here and kind of start bringing it in. But I wanted to have more on the outer too because I don't want to bring too much of the darkness into the outer lid. Like I do want it there, but I don't want it like inwards. I want it more outwards. But I will add some dimension, but not too much. I still want it to be shimmer and then some purple that will still catch some attention to kind of like break up the shimmer. But what I want to do, so that, that's it for the bloodlust. I want to add in kind of like 
a little bit of a different color to kind of like divide all this purple that's going on too. So I'm actually gonna grab my Unicorn Blood Liquid Lip by Jeffree Star. I'm gonna dab some on my hand right here. And I am gonna grab, roll up my sleeve a little bit so I don't get it on. I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit of this little flat end I'm gonna be using. I'm going to dip into my liquid lip and I'm gonna be carefully start um, right here between the shimmer and dungeon. And I think I'm gonna create the line and go halfway right here. Well, a little bit over halfway with the lid. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the other side. Try not to cover up too much of anything. So there's that, I don't know if you guys can really see it, but that's the line we're gonna have. And now I'm gonna grab a different flat end brush and we are gonna dip into Pink Religion real quick and we are gonna let this dry for a couple minutes. But when we do go in, I'm gonna dip into Handbag Queen, which is right here. And we are going to put it right on top of Unicorn Blood to make it really more bold and kind of bring more attention to the eyes because why not? Take our brush, should be dry by now. And I'm just gonna go over Unicorn Blood. See how it's giving that like really nice like divide. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but definitely cute. So that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and fix my shimmer, get the rest of my foundation on, and I will be right back. All right, so we have the foundation on. My hair is being a wacky right now. I don't know why. I added some purple lip, but yeah, this is it for the Zodiac sign. Super cute. Um, Definitely not the hair because it's like really like wonky and everything. I don't know what's going on with this, but yeah, just super cute. Like, look at that eyeshadow like up close. Like, mmm, yes. So yeah, I'd love to hear your guys' uh, thoughts on this eyeshadow look. Feel free to leave a comment. I will see you in the next one. Bye.